the biology classroom today's topic is sex determination in different organisms in 1891 hanking while experimenting on sperms of insect he found that a special body is present in 50% of the sperms and in another 50% of the sperms that special body is absent at that time he don't have any answer to that special body so he called that as x body later on it was found out that that x body is nothing but the sex chromosome as the name given x so till now it is coming out x is the sex chromosome so let's see how this sex is determined by the sex chromosome in different organisms generally we have four types of sex determination number one is xy type in case of human being second is x zero type in insects and in some other insects some other type of sex determination is there that also we will see here in birds it is zw type and in another type of insect that is honey bee you will get haploid type of sex determination and in drosophila you will get sex determination similar to human type okay so let's see one by one first come to sex determination in human human being has 23 pairs of chromosome out of these 23 pairs 22 pairs are called autosomes autosomes means the chromosomes who control the non sex characters of the body they they don't have any relations with with sex and remaining one pair that is called sex chromosome in case of male this sex pair is in the form of x and y one chromosome is x another chromosome is y and in female that is 2x means both the chromosomes are similar whereas the autosomes 22 pairs 22 pairs a a in case of female sorry in case of male and in case of female both are same this sex chromosome which are in heterozygous condition in case of male is responsible for the determination of sex see how when this female produces gametes meiosis occurs and the cell undergoes cell division meiosis cell division to produce haploid set of gamete this is called gamete formation and you will found in case of female 22a plus x and 22a plus x means all the gametes which formed by a female human are same hence it is called female homogamity means female produces similar type of gametes let's see in male when this cell having this setup undergoes meiosis cell division it gives 22a plus x one type of gamete and another type of gamete 22a plus y clear so male produces different types of gametes two different types of gametes and hence it is called heterogamety as it is heterozygous condition so in human sex determination male heterogamety is there now see when this ovum combines with this sperm of male this is sperm and this is ovum when this ovum combines with this sperm of male it is 22 aa plus xx when this combines with this it is also 22 aa plus xx right so if this sperm combines with any of the ovum that gives you similar type of offspring when this ovum combines with this sperm it gives 22 aa plus xy or this one combines with this one also gives same 22 aa plus xy 
so this sperm having y chromosome if it combines with any of the ovum that gives you a male child when this sperm combines with any one of the ovum that gives you female child so where is the selection this is selecting whether the child will be a boy or a girl if it is not going the child will be a girl if it is going with this any of the ovum that is a boy so sex determination in case of human is a sole responsibility of male not the female clear generally in our society it is there that बहू के अगर तीन चार लड़कियां हो गए तो बहू खराब है दूसरे शादी कर दो उसके बाद भी फिर लड़कियां होती है सो प्लीज चेंज दिस सोशल टैबू और ज्ञानी बनिए सीखिए जानिए सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन इन ह्यूमन में अगर बच्चा का सेक्स मेल हो रहा है या फीमेल हो रहा है तो इसके जिम्मेदार पापा है मम्मी कभी भी नहीं this is about your human sex determination the same formula is followed in case of a fruit fly small fruit fly that is drosophila though it has sex chromosome xy but the autosomes number is not equal to human rather it has three pairs of autosomes the so same types of diagram we can make in drosophila just remove this and this and right 3 aa everywhere 22 AA is removed with 3 aa and you can prepare the graph you will get the sex determination of drosophila next come to another insect that is grasshopper where you will found another type of sex determination that is called x0 type where hanking has observed two types of sperms clear depending on the presence or absence of special body which he called x body there is that insect grasshopper which is having x0 type of sex determination x0 in the sense zero means it is absent means the organism in case of female it has a pair of sex chromosome in case of male it is a single x chromosome this zero is given just for the convenience it is absent clear it is absent like this this is the genetic setup for our convenience of study we have added zero here clear so there is a imbalance in the number of chromosome in case of male and in case of female one chromosome number is less in male in comparison to female in grasshopper And let's see what happens. So this female produces gametes, and these gametes are of same type. Clear? And male produces a gamete where autosomes are there, plus one X chromosome, and in another type of sperm, only autosomes are there, whereas X chromosome is absent. got a point so two types of sperms in this 50% of sperm he got the extra body x and in this 50% of sperm that extra body x is absent so again we will see the male heterogamity in case of grasshopper insect male heterogamity so now combination as such so these two gametes female gametes when combines with this x sperm having x chromosome will give female insect when they combine with this sperm without x chromosome will give a male grasshopper so here is also an example of male heterogamity clear nothing is different in comparison to human case only in male one chromosome is absent clear next come to one more insect that is honey bee in honey bee you will found three social categories one is queen 
which is having 32 number of chromosomes and this is a fertile female. Another one is worker that has also 32 chromosomes but it is a sterile female. And another category is there that is called drone. They are having 16 chromosomes and they are the male one. It is fertile male. Clear? Now, let's see what is the social relationship between these three category, social categories of drone. So this queen has the power to copulate with drones because it is a female, fertile female. So when this queen copulates with drones, its 50% of gametes, ovum, which are produced through meiosis, queen is 32, it is deployed, so it produces gametes through meiosis cell division and 50% or more can say gametes ovums which are fertilized by the drone produces workers so in case of drone during gamete formation meiosis does not take place it is mitosis because it is a haploid sac it is a haploid organism hence this process of sex determination is called haploid type of sex determination because this male is a haploid one and it produces sperms through mitosis cell division you know mitosis is a equatorial division number of chromosomes in parents is equal to the number of chromosomes in daughter cells but in case of meiosis number of chromosomes present in daughter cell is half the number of chromosomes in parent cell got my point so in this process drone produces sperms through mitosis cell division and these sperms when combines with the ovum a queen that produces workers the sterile female and remaining ovum which are not fertilized by drone they undergo a process of development without fertilization and they produces drones means the process of Formation of young ones without fertilization from a gamete is called parthenogenesis. So, this is parthenogenetic development of drones from queen's egg. Got my point? Now, you see one more thing. This drone is the father of these workers or you can say these workers are the daughter of this drone. Okay? The daughter of this drone and this drone does not have any son. Iska koi beta nahi hai, sab hai. But among these workers, during swarming condition, some workers changes to queen. So when this queen produces gametes, they produce unfertilized gametes also. That is unfertilized ovum, and these ovum directly produce the drone without any copulation. So these drones are now the son and this son of this queen is the grandson of this drone. These are the grandson of this drone. So the drones don't have uh, the son, rather they have daughter and grandson. So this is what the interesting thing about bee community. Clear? Next come to sex determination in birds. Birds has ZW type of sex determination. Here the chromosomal setup of bird is just opposite of human being. In case of human being, you have seen male heterogamity, but here you will see male homogamity. Here male has similar pair of sex chromosome. Both the chromosomes are same in male, whereas in female, they are different. So, in case of bird, the reverse is true as per the human being is concerned. In case of bird, you will find female heterogamity and male homogamity. Whereas in human being, you will find reverse. You will find male heterogamity and female homogamity in human being. 
So let's see. During gamete formation, the female produces two different types of gametes: 50% Z type and 50% W type. But sperms are produced 100% similar type. So set determined by W. If W will go with any sperm, that will give a female bud. And when Z will go with any sperm, that will give a male bud. Clear? So here, female sex is determined by W. Clear? Let's see the diagram. A A plus Z Z. If it will go with this A A plus Z Z, these are male bud. When this will go with this one, it is A A Z W. And when it will go with this one also, it will give A A plus Z W. So these are female bud. Right? So this is what the sex determination in birds. So this is what the miracle in our biological world. So, पढ़ते रहिए। ये वीडियो अगर अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करें, कमेंट करें, शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें। थैंक यू।